We're going to be entering the top bank here. It's 36 degrees. And you're going to see a big tilt to our right. So if I was going 110 miles an hour in this lane and maintaining that speed, I could go hands off and it would just take me around the track and I'd stay in this lane. This is Transportation Research Center. We are a 4,500 acre independent automotive proving ground. So we are very big. We have a lot of land here. TRC was actually began back in the early 70s. Um, Governor Rhodes, the, the governor at the, the time at the state of Ohio, had the idea that he wanted to attract to the state of Ohio the automotive industry, but not just um, automotive manufacturing, also automotive research and development. And in order to do that, Governor Rhodes had the idea that if the state would set aside not just land, but also build on this land, 9,000 acres, build on 4,500 of those acres of proving grounds, and automotive proving grounds, it would encourage not only manufacturing, but encourage R&D. That was successful. Honda did come. This is our sine wave course. It's like a big washboard. Here at TRC, we have 15 primary outdoor facilities of test groupings where we evaluate vehicles. The one we're at here is our brake slope where we have a split coefficient of friction surface used for brake testing and brake evaluations. We have 10, 20, and 30 degree slopes here and the Suburban is up on the 30 degree slope. This is our power hop hill. So it's a sine wave course going up an incline. tear up your car. <laughs> no, that's the point. All, all, yes, all of the components on the vehicle, you know, your transmission, the front end of your vehicle, you're doing a durability testing program using that. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We only close down six days per year, run three shifts in order to support our 800 customers. Uh, lubricant manufacturer is one of our biggest customers and they're showing that through the testing they do here that those engine um, oil and gasoline additives actually can prolong the life of the engine and improve the performance. And we can provide the, the testing that can, can document that. Two of our biggest features are the seven and a half mile test track. We also have our vehicle dynamics area and that's a 50 acre relatively flat asphalt pad. So imagine a black sea. And we do a lot of dynamic testing there uh, because there's no barriers. We can do performance driving out there with the safety of being able to lose control because there are no barriers. We have a sprinkler system and it will wet down all of this basalt and ceramic tile. And we can come out here and do ABS testing, a stability control, even tire manufacturers will come out here and use this course. We develop safer vehicles, safer highways, and safer drivers. We test anything from a, a motorcycle and a scooter all the way up to a class eight truck and bus. So we perform durability testing on all those vehicles. So um, Belgian blocks, brick roads, um, turtle backs, a lot of bumpy roads. A part of those durability programs, we are driving the vehicles over those to see what components are going bad first. We're basically testing the end of that vehicle's life. Working at TRC, I think, is the, the dream of every young boy. As a, as a young boy, there's a couple things you want to do. You want to go fast and you want to break things. And at TRC, that's what we do in a very controlled manner, very safe, um, but we do go fast to test the limits of the vehicles, and we do push the vehicles and components to limits of breakage um, so that we can test how durable they are. And so that's, that's what we do. We go fast and we break things. 